Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today, I'm going to make this a very quick video. It is just going to be a follow-up and sort of final thoughts on this Insta360 crappy audio problem. And today I'm much more calm. I just went for a nice 45 minute walk. I'm at peace. And more importantly, the reason that I'm actually smiling and in a good mood, I found the door that I lost yesterday to this stupid thing. Can you believe it? This tiny ass little thing in just a big island of big little medium sized rocks. And I was on the phone with a friend of mine and I was like, yeah, that thing's gone. I don't even remember which one of these things it was. I'm never going to fit. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. And I looked down and there it was. Can't believe I found it. So yay, there's a win for today. I can take it. But I just wanted to follow up on what was going on here. Now, what I said yesterday, as a recap, this Insta360 ONE R has crappy audio with an external microphone with the Rode Wireless Go. I haven't tried any other microphone. This is the one that I use, and it was horrible. After a lot of research, found that this has been a problem since at least last May. Don't know why they didn't fix it. Don't know why after they did a firmware update that it wasn't fixed, but they did provide a link to an older older now anyways, I don't know how it was back then, but an older beta version of their firmware. And in that firmware update, it did allow you to go in and play with the gain. And you can go from zero all the way up to 24. Whilst you can change that setting, you have to be careful because I found that every time I shut the camera off, take the footage off, turn the camera back on, it resets that gain setting back to zero. So everything that I shot yesterday, after I turned the camera off and turned it back on and did the setting, not realizing it, turned that gain back to zero and the audio was unusable because it was recorded too low. So you just have to remember if you're gonna use that fix with the firmware that I linked yesterday, that you have to remember before you record your video, you have to go in and change that setting on the gain. I do it to 24, the top one, every single time because it erases it every single time. Pain in the ass, but I won't go down that road again. You know how I feel about it. You saw the picture yesterday. So today, I just wanted to record on the Insta360 ONE R with the 4K module, the Rode Wireless Go, with that old beta firmware version on here, set to 24 decibels, normal setup, and go with that. I'm not going to go into any other detail than that. You can watch the other video. I'm not going to post anything else from the six that I did yesterday, the five or six, uh, that, that were very profane and, yeah, just not good. Today, I just wanted to follow up so that you could hear this now. Now, I didn't take it on my walk because I actually wanted to enjoy my walk. I didn't want to record or anything and harsh my mellow. So I thought, okay, now that I'm calm, I'm gonna come into the office and I'm gonna record this so that you can hear how it sounds with that beta firmware. Ever since I took it apart, lost the door yesterday, disconnect the battery, put it back together, it hasn't shut off on its own yet. Knock on wood. So we're good there. I think that this is finally gonna be okay until Insta360 fixes the damn firmware and fixes that muffled audio issue. But for now, I guess I'll take it the way that it is. Pain in the ass, once again, because the touchscreen isn't that great to have to go in there and change that gain setting to 24 decibels every time. But at least it fixed the audio so that it's usable. And I think we're good to go. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.